With the end of winter and the arrival of a new season, why not look back at the winter season by looking at another biner? Figma's iteration of White Schnee is from the series Ruby Ice Queendom in which this titular secondary high schooler takes notes from Inception and becomes the unstable emotional mess with daddy issues from The Force Awakens. Again, it's like poetry, it's sort of if they rhyme. When observing Weiss's head, it is obvious that our beloved Gail here is definitely a minor as she possesses a ponytail, which hardly any adult uses, but questionable hairstyles aside, Weiss is definitely an improvement over Ruby as the hair from the cranium to the ponytail is not only vibrantly colored, but is also embedded with an organic combination of a sky blue and snow white paint job that perfectly symbolizes Weiss's inner conflict between her ice cold racist nurture and her caring and warm-hearted nature, or in modern day terms, they're two wolves inside of me. Moving down to the face, the cold expressionless face of a girl who doesn't want her inner dust to be exposed, and doing so puts up a strong persona. <coughs> 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 But waifu preferences aside, it's obvious that Weiss was the favorite child as she not only possesses the crystal-esque eyes, sharp nose, and ever more sharp fox-like cheeks, but is also equipped with the silver ear piercings and the iconic scar situated on the left eye, which she attained during her training, making her ever more closer to another person who has two wolves inside of them. But this isn't the only face, as there are two more. First, there's this battle-ready angry face which is usually seen when Weiss is interacting with Ruby and is shocked by her airhead nature, or when she's facing off against hostiles beyond her league and is overtaken by fear. You must not fear. Fear is the mind killer that brings total obliteration. Then there's this Sundere. It's not like I like you or anything. Face with the nervous eyes, pink blush, and the open mouth perfectly portrays the expression that Weiss has something in her mind that she wants to say. Or in short, gay girls, isn't it? Why are you gay? Moving to the. Oh my goodness. That's a long neck that puts Ruby to shame and only second to Ghidorah. But that isn't the only physical appeal as Weiss's upper torso is exposed for the entire pedo fellow students to see which includes the protruding collarbones, the beautiful silver necklace given to her by her mother, I think, and a slight and very slight inward bulge that showed Weiss's cheeky cheeky side, probably a fan of Nando's, and makes it a curious point for not only the men but the women as well. Why are you gay? And there's a small jacket that Weiss is wearing that hardly comes <laughs> That hardly covers Weiss's front, but is splendid with a red painting on the neck and a snowflake pattern located on the back that encompasses the hole at the center that can be blocked by a bigger object in front. Wait, that sounded wrong. Moving further down, Weiss is sure a skinny girl as the abdomen lacks any presence of fat composition and instead the perfect form of a girl who conducts her daily exercises, as portrayed through the muscle composed shape and the tightly exposed belly button at the center that blurs the difference between heavily clothed and full on naked, then cites a certain response from... Eh, I've never seen a woman. When looking at the arms, there's a surprising amount of wrinkles on the top that is not a common sight among among Figma figures and clearly shows who's their favorite child. And while the top starts off white, it gets more blue as you go down with the sleeves that are composed of a full-on sky blue color scheme and embedded with certain markings. And moving to the entree is none other than Weiss's skirt that while simple in nature, similar to the Vigma Violet, where the simplicity was the strong point, the same also applies here, as there isn't any overly complicated design alongside the limited space that limits its leg movement, and instead a dual layer with a transparent skirt with the markings in embedded on the outer side. And for the best part, looking below the skirt, Ugh! What on earth is that? These aren't the panties I know, they're plain old boxes! And look at the legs, they're your typical anorexic Asian legs that seems to have had hardly any exercise and probably lacks any strength, unlike the likes of the big G. 
and the boots seem to resemble a pair of wellingtons with the top being katana from a 45 degrees angle but still beautifully portrayed with the wrinkles knots and high heels which is sure to stir up some spinal issues down the line when looking at what weiss is accompanied by just like ruby before her what happened did your, did your balls drop off besides the faces there are your hands wide open hands fists imaginary pistols to reenact as gojo semi-open hands holding hands that doesn't seem to do much and pistol shooting hands that are actually used to hold Weiss's rapier. Talking about a rapier? When looking at Weiss's choice of weaponry, the revolving rapier just like Ruby's sight is also beautifully rendered into plastic form as all the intricate details such as the handle, edges, and revolver is rendered with finesse. Alongside the metallic gray paint job being organically applied, not to mention all the separate colors applied to the revolver to signify the different rounds loaded, making for a perfect melee weapon against most foes from gay girls to straight out hentai protagonists. But if Weiss wants to wield her second amendment rights and have a taste of what freedom truly tastes like, and by lifting the blade from the handle, you can portray when Weiss is reloading her firearm. And there's this large size Figma stand that can hold an additional stand, which is used to hold this hidden accessory. And closely looking at the semblance, it is composed of individual edges from arrow points to spear heads that combine into a snowflake-like shape that perfectly portrays when Weiss wants to cosplay as a Disney princess. As a minor, Weiss isn't the tallest girl in town as she stands similar to Ruby at around 16 centimeters or 6.2 inches tall. But Ruby is wearing her typical shoes while Weiss is equipped with some high heels. So it isn't even a fair fight to begin with. Here's Weiss next to Gumpla, SHV Gods, Fellow Figmas, the Big G, and Ghidorah. Damn, she's short! When looking at Weiss's posability as a Figma figure, she is at the higher echelons of posable figures and due to the lack of baggage compared to Ruby, provides far better range. So, let's take a good old look! The head can move up and down, side to side, relatively freely. The ponytail can also move freely with both up and down and side to side movement. Shoulder movement due to jacket scope and lack of butterfly joints is relatively is relatively stiff. The arms are also extremely stiff AF. Elbows surprisingly bend over 90 degrees. The torso can bend up and down. Hips can't move with the boundary on the skirt. Leg split is impressive and would have been perfect if it weren't for the boxes. Knees can bend over 90 degrees. Pretty good feet movement. And no toe bend. So, when regarding posability, Weiss surpasses the likes of both the Big G and Ruby. So, to wrap up, Figma's iteration of Weiss Schnee is another fantastic release and a great start to the year. As Figma poured their soul into recreating Weiss, as portrayed through the impressive skull, decent accessories, beautiful paint job, wide range of posability, and the cheeky decisions in design. That proves Weiss is the favorite child indeed. This is not mentioned the amount of aesthetically pleasing poses you can place her in. With that said, if you're a fan of White Schnee, I would highly recommend this figure and give her a ranking of an A-.